Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing great. Today is a green day and that is cause for celebration because we've had just a certain amount of days that were kind of horrible back to back to back to back. Um, yeah, so it's actually really nice waking up and, you know, even checking it every couple hours and seeing that things are green. Bitcoin is officially over 2000. It's around 2100 right now. Ethereum is at 173. I think it dipped to around 150 something yesterday. Um, I think that's the number that I saw and I considered getting some and I didn't. And well, that's my fault. Um, but yeah, everything is up around five to nine percent, which is pretty much a nice healthy number. We're not seeing any like dramatic spikes, which means things will crash down. So I think it's people have gotten tired of the red and they have, yeah, you know, things are moving in the right direction. So Satoshi Pay, if you have not heard, this is actually really, really interesting. Um, Satoshi Pay is a blockchain based nano payment system. And unsurprisingly, <laughs> they have decided that they're gonna stop using Bitcoin and they're gonna start using IOTA. Uh, I know a lot of people don't care for my views on IOTA, but there are a lot of coins that like it's just too many copies of other things. That's not to say that IOTA isn't great or awesome or amazing or fantasticals. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the fact that you get um, zero transaction fees with IOTA and the fact that it is infinitely scalable has caused Satoshi Pay to say that they're going to drop Bitcoin because one of the main problems is, like I said before in many countless videos, I'm sure I've said this multiple times, when I first started using Bitcoin, I remember transaction fees were one cent. I remember sometimes like the, the main hype around it was is that transaction costs were less than one cent and everybody was like, oh my gosh, that's absolutely amazing. Banks are going to love this. Banks are going to find this awesome. But if you guys remember about two months ago, even not, what was it, like five or six weeks ago, um, when the whole hype happened and all the prices hit sky high, the, the network was so backed up, it was impossible to send anything. Like it took days and weeks in certain cases. And I think there was there were a lot of people who were sending large transactions and I think they were getting charged like $25 and stuff like that. And obviously you can like raise the, on certain um, wallet clients, you can raise the amount that you want to send, you know have priority in the network kind of, and people were doing this and nobody wants to spend 30 or $40 to send the transaction when they were promised or told a couple years ago that they would probably only be paying one cent. So yeah, um, the net, the Bitcoin network and Ethereum hasn't been as congested as it has been before, but I think if the prices continue to skyrocket like I expect them to in the next couple of days, we may see a couple backups again, but I think people are used to it at this point, so let's hope for the best. And IOTA is one of the only coins that is above 50% today. It actually went up by 61%. So if you bought during those dips, you have made a significant amount of money right now. Um, probably what every probably what has caused the entire um, Green Day, and not the band, um, is um, Segwit 2 X is now available on GitHub. And I remember reading a, like a lot of things about this and I kind of saw it as I was going to bed and I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. I'll see you in the morning. Um, yeah, so this is um, Bitcoin Core 1.14.3 and everyone is kind of excited about it. So at the moment, 43% of miners and mining pools have um, actually been signaling for Segwit2x, which is great because before when I made a video, they were, I think, only 30%. And then when um, BIP became more of a threat, this is when they went up to 40%. So now 43% are in this and it actually includes some of the larger mining pools as well. Um, Antpool, BTC.com, Bitfury, and at the moment, Slush Pool hasn't uh activated this but they said that they will eventually so it's nice to you know have these big names on board because that's kind of what's going to push the entire thing forward so pretty much all that has to happen now is is that miners and mining pools etc cetera, etc cetera, just have to lock in the update so this is like a, a thing that you can download i'm not sure i think it's still i think this is a beta i'm pretty sure this is a beta so it's not for everyone per se but it's kind of for the big boys if you will um once they've all locked in and um this is through the proposal um bip 91 so if 80 per, if 80 percent of the network signals that they want SegWit 2x to happen, 
if so I, I think this can occur over a two day period um, so pretty much during the next 336 blocks that are mined, if 80% of the network says, yes, we want this, SegWit will then be activated. And this is why I think all the prices have kind of gone up. Because if we had gotten bad news, you would, you better believe all the prices would be going back down. So the main goal right now, it seems, is to avoid BIP 149, which is the um, user activated soft fork. This is kind of what people don't want to happen because this is the main threat to, I don't want to say threat, but this is the, what would cause the network to kind of split into two. Um, I've said this before, I'm not a coder myself, but I think this is incredibly fascinating that people are smart enough to like think of these things, to like make up these things, to write this code. I can't imagine myself sitting down actually writing code and making these things. It's just kind of almost otherworldly that these things exist. Um, Companies, miners, all of us even listening, um, watching anything online, we've kind of grown tired of this debate because like I said, I think it was the day before or something like that. I wonder exactly where we would be if this entire thing wasn't happening, if this had been activated, you know, a year before, et cetera, et cetera. We had we saw such a crazy amount of growth and then it kind of all slid back down because of this fear of August 1st. And I think there's something else that's supposed to happen like three months after, but it's not as bad. And I hope that it's not hyped up. I hope that people don't kind of lose their minds and they're like, oh my gosh, the end is near. And then, you know, we have to deal with this all over again. So um, it looks like the, um, yeah, the main problem with the split is that there is a risk of double spending. People were asking me this before, you know, what's the problem with the split? Well, um, it's kind of what happened with Ethereum. When the network split, there were a lot of people who actually lost coins. Um, I don't know if it was because people didn't get onto the right chain or exactly what happened. But yeah, double spending is a um, problem that they try to get around and this is one of the main issues with the blockchain splitting so nobody wants to lose their money and nobody wants anyone else to kind of undermine the code and double spend because can you imagine if someone sends a million dollars to one address and then they you know are able to double spend this and they send a million dollars to even the same address all over again like it's just these things aren't supposed to happen this will kind of you know ruin what bitcoin is and what it's supposed to be and you know the the Bitcoin of the Bitcoin. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, this is, it's very exciting. I'm glad that this is moving forward. Um, a lot of people are um, excited that this is happening so quickly because like I said before, there were a couple things that were supposed to be happening. I think it was the 15th, 17th as well today and the 19th and things are progressing forward. So let's hope that 80% of the mining pools kind of, you know, give a thumbs up because I for one am kind of tired of waking up and seeing that I lost money. And I'm sure you all are as well. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, yeah, if you can, like, make sure, as always, to read up on what's going on because it's always very, very fascinating to see these things and know what's happening in the world. All right, guys, yeah, I'll talk to you all soon and hope you have a great day. See you.